There are some prisoners in the castle. They have asked for my help. I intend to release them. Release them, Scarecrow? You will be led by the vicar of Dimchurch, Dr. Sin. Vendelis, do you trust me? All of you. Or will you stand forward now and say that you're afraid? Presents the wonderful world of color. This week, we bring you more adventures of the Scarecrow of Romney Marsh. your host, Walt Disney. On this program, we bring you the third and concluded adventure of the most wanted man in England 200 years ago. He had two names, two identities. One of them, he was Dr. Sin, vicar of Dimchurch Parish. In the other, he was known only by his nickname, the Scarecrow. And under this alias, he led the greatest smuggling gang in the country. All around here, on the southeast coast of England, where he lived. They still talk about him in some of the old inns there today. And you can see rooms he hid or slept in, and the parish church where he preached his vicar. In those days, ordinary folk found life very, very hard. They were poor, and the laws of the land were harsh. So because this strange character, the scarecrow, robbed the government of revenue to help the poor, he became a hero and a legend, and all the forces of law and order that tried to stop him were outwitted so often that even the king himself intervened personally to try and put an end to the scarecrow. <laughs> There's a legend people tell Of days long ago when the great scarecrow Would ride from the jaws of hell And laugh <laughs> with a fiendish yell With his clothes all torn and tattered Through the black of night he'd ride From the marsh to the coast like a demon ghost He'd show his face then hide And he'd laugh <laughs> till he split his side so the king told all his soldiers, hang him high or hang him low. But never return till the day I learn he's gone in flames below. Or you'll hang with the great scarecrow. Scarecrow, scarecrow, scarecrow. The soldiers of the king feared his name. Scarecrow. Country folk all loved him just the same. Scarecrow, he would always help the farmer when there was no gold to bring. He'd find a way for the poor to pay the taxes of the king. Scarecrow, every man would sing. Scarecrow, 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 Scarecrow. the soldiers of the king. Country folk all loved him just the same. Scarecrow, Scarecrow, Scarecrow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I sent for you. So you could explain to me this enormous loss in revenue. 
Your order's work will stamp out this smuggling, yet in the weeks you've been down there, it's grown worse. Well, sir? Well? The whole countryside protects the smugglers and their leader, Your Majesty. They see him as a benefactor. Protects, protects! My home secretary bombards me with figures of the drop in excise duties. I have to listen to sly jokes at my expense, at my army's expense. Cartoons appear in the public press, showing me dancing like a puppet on strings held by this fellow they call the Scarecrow. I send you extra troops, and what happens? Nothing, nothing. By making a fool of yourself, you make a fool of me. I'm doing my best, sir, but as I said... Your best is not good enough, General. You let this scoundrel slip through your fingers, didn't you? Well, sir? Well? I did everything in my... Silence! I should relieve you of your command, perhaps. Eh? Eh, hey, sir? If you'll give me a little more time... Time, I... time! I have a war in France, rumors of insurrection in America, and I must give you time, more money, more men, to deal with a pack of smuggling yokels in my own country? You're incompetent lax, General. I'll stamp out this business, Your Majesty. I give you my word. Yeah. Just one month, sir. I'll give you one month. The War Office said that you were a hard man, General. Well, sir, be hard. You hear me, eh? Be hard. Now go back to your command and use your brains. There's a new spirit in the world, Nix. Taxed out of existence, robbed of their independence by the king's government, the people must fight back how they can. Well, men can't beat armies, sir. Ideas can. Faith can move mountains. What we're doing here is just a pinprick, but a thousand pinpricks put together will... Search. <laughs> Dr. Sin. Mother Hathaway sent me, sir. There are troops out searching for me. Why? What have you done? You're an American, are you not? Yes, sir. I've been branded a traitor and sentenced to death for preaching sedition. You should know this because I ask for sanctuary. Sedition? That's what King George calls our wish for freedom and independence. Yes. I can't deny you a sanctuary, Mr... Bates. Simon Bates, sir. Mr. Bates. But it would not be safe for either of us to hide you here. You'll give me up? No. Uh, Mips, take him to Mrs. Waggett's Inn. My sexton will know what to say to her. She'll hide you till the coast is clear. You say nothing. Any sign of him? No, Sergeant. Right. Let's make for the house. Oh, what? Oh, hang it all, Vicar. You'd think I might beat you once in a while. He's as clever as a fox. Do you play, General? No, I haven't got the patience for games. But you hunt the fox, though, don't you, sir? Well, General Pusa, squadron searching the marshes, cooperating with the naval pickets. I know, I know. All the press gang men who jumped ship at Dover have been recaptured, sir. Good. Except one. What? A man was seen heading for Dimchurch an hour ago, but we lost him. Permission to carry out house-to-house -house search, sir? Yes. Sir? Every house, you understand, and thoroughly. Spare no one. This is the chance I've been waiting for to turn this place inside out. I don't wonder a deserter would head this way. Why, General? Because your people here are lawless themselves. They shield this scarecrow and his smugglers, don't they? You've no proof of that. They do. And if I find one of them, any of them, hiding a deserter, there'll be some hanging here. Well, night, Thomas. It's time I was getting home. Good night, you, Vicar. I'll see you okay. to the gate, sir. Hello. General? They 
search every house, they'll find Mr. Bates, the American rebel you're hiding. We'll have to move him. Come on. If you're the deserter, we're here to help, not harm you. I'm Dr. Sin, vicar of Dimchurch. Soldiers there, I saw them through the window. Harry. You heard General Pugh. They hang deserters from the Navy. Harry is the man they're looking for. The marshes are now under military law, sir. I have my authority from the King. If you have any objection, complain to him, sir, not to me. Thank you for dinner and good night. Good night to you, sir. Madam, Mr. Brackenbury. General, won't you let Philip stay a little longer? Just as a favor to me, please. Very well. Speak to Father now. All right, Kate. Could I talk to you a moment, sir? Hmm. Have I your permission to, to ask for Kate's hand, sir? No, sir. You have not. I understand that your family regards you as independent and rebellious, and they've cut you off. Am I right? Well, yes, sir. It's true. My father and I... And that you live on your army pay. How am I to know that you're not more interested in Kate's fortune than her hand? As Kate's father, sir, you may consider it your privilege to question my honor. But I'm afraid I do not. Good night, Sir Thomas. Good night, Mr. Brackenbury. I'm leaving. There's nothing more to say after that. Isn't there something to say to me? Father fights everybody. He only respects those who fight him back. And so do I. Aren't you going to fight for me? Oh, Kate. You know, when we're in port, we're netted below decks like cattle. Fed and watered and penned and driven to the slaughter. We... What's this? Vicar? Hello, Father. like a criminal. Hmm? I am a criminal, sir. Harry's the deserter they're looking for, Sir Thomas. You deserted? Escaped. They took me by force and I got away by force. Four years of my life they've had. Want to see the decorations I got in the King's service? I'm no longer going to be treated like a dog. Dear boy. 
Come over to the house. You look starved. I am, sir. You can't go to the house, sir. Philip Brackenbury's still there. I must get you away. L leave this to me, Sir Thomas. Yes, yes, but how and you... ask no questions. If you know nothing, then you'll not have to lie when the Navy comes searching. I'll see you again, boy. As soon as I can. Don't worry, my sexton and I will deal with this. Uh, go with your father, John. soon find out. So will Dr. Sin. I must warn him to get Harry away at once. My family. Hundreds of years of pride and privilege. I wonder what they think of me now. Running away like a stray dog. Cover that lantern. Just in time. I got Mr. Bates here out of the inn five minutes before the soldiers came. Mr. Harry, I couldn't believe it when I heard it's good to see you, sir. Harry, this is Simon Bates from America. He's hunted by the law, too. Mr. Banks? How do you do, Mr. Bates? Deserter? No. Preaching sedition. Freedom for the colonies. Neps, tell them whether to go. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, Mr. Bates, you remember Broken Barn in the Bonington Hills? Take Mr. Harry with you and hide there till I send word. Enter through the barn doors, and under the fourth beam, there's a trap door leading to an underground stable. An underground stable? That's right. You'll be perfectly safe there. We'll get food to you as you need it, but whatever you do, keep undercover. Mr. Mipps, Dr. Sin, you're taking a big risk. So are you, and you're wasting time. Come on, off you go. Soldiers and pickets everywhere, sir. How are you going to get the tools and out? By the, uh, the first ship that delivers for the scarecrow. You hope. Hope is brightest when it dawns from fears. Coming. Halt in the king's name. What's this? We caught him and another one besides, sir. Call off the search. We have him. That's Mr. Harry, Sir Thomas's son. Who are you? All right. You'll find your tongue, I promise you. You've got to be sorry you were ever born, the pair of you. Take them both to Dover Castle. They took them off in a car. 
cart, sir. Trust like chickens. To Dover, you say? That means pew. And that's just what he wants. He'll know that Bates has been harboured here, and he'll do everything in his power to force him to say by whom. That puts Mrs. Waggett in danger, and yourself. But you in worse danger, sir. Yes, but it's my fault. Then there's Harry and his family. Now, if Brackenbury has discovered anything and reports it... Are you going to warn Sir Thomas that Harry's been taken? No, he'll find out soon enough. Now, I think I'll go to Dover, see what I can learn. You'll either give me the information I want... ...here and now... Or I'll hand you over to more forcible persuasion. I could have you hanged today, both of you. Apart from your stealing from me, you're already condemned, and you stand condemned a deserter. But turn King's evidence, I'll spare your lives. Who sheltered you all this time? This scarecrow who flouts the law down here? No. Then one of his men... Must have been. Answer me. No. And why did you head for these parts? Who did you think would hide you? This scarecrow, because he helped another scoundrel escape the King's service? Who are your friends here? Talk, and I'll exchange their lives for yours. Take them to the dungeons and see what answers you can get, by whatever means. Yes, sir. March! The Vicar of Dimchurch, sir. Dr. Sin. Here, Parson. Uh, my duties, General. I'm chaplain to the jail. I'm here to serve Holy Communion to the prisoners. I normally report to the garrison commander before I do so. And Master Banks? Uh, to assist me, sir. Well, it's not a duty I relish myself. This stench in the dungeon is strong enough to build another wall on. Our duties are not always made easy. For any of us. But the end justifies the means, eh? Even when those means include torture, General? Mr. Brackenbury is talking of those swine who just left. To be tortured? They hold the key to unlock the conspiracy of silence which protects this scarecrow madman, and I intend to get it. That's my duty. Tell me one thing, sir. If they had told you what they knew when you promised them their lives, would you have kept your side of the bargain? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a fool, let her hang anyway. Of course, sir. With your permission, sir, I'll go to the dungeons now. Your servant, sir. I need an ally here. Uh, wonder if I found one. Wake up, on your feet. Show some respect to the chaplain, you dogs. Neil. Lift up your hearts and hope and trust. Let us pray. Open up, Nigel Pickett. <laughs> I want six men. Come on, step lively if you don't want a rope sent across your backs. Get them chained. Press gang to poor devils. You're allowed aboard the lugger for HMS Defiant. Wave your mates goodbye, you dogs. We're gonna make men of you. Here we are again, mate. 
six less mouths for you to feed. <laughs> what? God be with you. And of mercy on you. I am about to conduct a service here, Jailer. I should like to be alone with the prisoners. But it ain't safe, Your Reverence. Let me be judge of that. Leave us. Oh, Harry. It didn't make us talk. Hello, Vicar. We ran out of luck. Get up, John. Get up. The rest of you kneel again. And listen to me. Does the naval picket come and go like that? To take men to the ships? Yes, sir. We never know when. I see. Harry, Mr. Bates, I don't know by what means, but somehow I'm going to get you away from here before Pew breaks your spirit as well as your body. You'll never break us. And we'll never talk. There's no way out of here except in a coffin. Not for us. There must be. Trust me. All of you. Somehow I will get you free. Free? Free, sir? Not so loud. Repeat after me. Letteth now thy servant depart in peace. Letteth now thy servant departeth in peace. For mine eyes have beheld thy salvation. For mine eyes have beheld thy salvation. I wanted to fly at them for what they'd done to Harry. Poor Bates. You did very well in there, John. Do you... you really think you'll... you'll be able to help them escape, sir? I... Uh... I don't know. I have an idea. It's a wild gamble, an outside chance. Stand against the door, admit, boy. say so myself. Here it is, sir. I hope it works. It's the key to the whole plan. What is the plan, sir? The Scarecrow will tell you that tonight. Get word to all our men. There'll be a meeting at 10 o'clock tonight at Five Mile Barn. Tonight? Time is running out. Get on your way, Mips. ship, force him to sail her into St. Margaret's Bay, this side of Dover. Heave two there, bring two boats ashore. Six others will report to Hellspite, mast, at Dimchurch Graveyard, eight o'clock. Sam, Ben Davis, you will be required to enter the castle dungeon. You will be led by the vicar of Dimchurch, Dr. Sin. The vicar? Why's that? He's under my orders too. He has no choice. And the squire's son, John, I have proof that they gave shelter 
to a deserter from the Navy. This proof will be given to General Pugh if they refuse to help me with my plan. They will hang. You mean you blackmail the vicar? To keep my word to those who asked for help, I blackmailed the king himself. My plan is set. Vendelis, do you trust me? No, of you. Or will you stand forward now and say that you're afraid? I trust you, Scarecrow. I ain't afraid. Not me, but the vicar. Leave Dr. Sin to me. I have him like that. And the boy. Tomorrow night, the Scarecrow and his gentlemen will thumb their noses at General Pugh when the king's in justice. Be on time! <laughs> gang uniforms. Who are these men? Never you mind. Put this on, young master. Now, follow me. Yo, fair ladies, now at land, we men at sea indict. But first would Waggy'll look after the drummer boy. Men in the jail zone. I'll escort them. Sir. Forward. You wait outside the gate, powder monkey. Sit down. Later for that. I'm late already. Sit down. Your deal. 
I get the orders here. Come on, your deal. You didn't shuffle them cards very well, did you? Yes, I did. You saw me. It was a fair deal. A fair to you, maybe. I think. All right. But you can take that grin off your face. What's wrong? Your idea to go on playing anyway. My trick. Your trick, your trick, it's unnatural. Here, beat that one. My trick. And that's fine. And that's fine. And the next two. Your deal. Wait. Give me that card. What was that? I'm Dr. Singh. Keep quiet and do as you're told. We'll get you away from here. Will you be able to walk? Are you strong enough? No noise. Probably been fighting. Let's get on with the game. I could get half the talk out of them two prisoners Pew gave me to work on as I get out of you. Wait a minute. My trick. It's my trick. It's my trick. It's mine. I played the king. It's mine. I played the king. No, you didn't. You played the jack. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You played the jack. Are you calling me a liar? You played the jack. Oh, crack your strong for you. Thank you. 
What's this? Naval picket for the press men, sir. Dogs. You're in the king's service now. Quick march. At your service, squire. The gentleman, you smuggling scoundrels, what you want at my house? You, squire, and your daughter. Why, That's you quite easy now, squire. No other in for servants, or my friend here will have something to say. The scarecrow needs you. The scarecrow? To act as hostage while he does a little business, squire. Come quiet, you'll not be armed. Make trouble, I'll blow your brains out. There's a carriage waiting in the lane. Now, not a word, so no one gets hurt. I was told to bring you as far as here, then leave you. God bless you all. I have to leave you, Harry. You're a brave boy. Give my love to Father and to Kate and say I wish I could have seen them. Hurry, John. Coming. Goodbye, Harry. Good luck. All right, now. We'll move down onto the beach, further ahead. Their boat will come in and pick you up. Some passengers you to take to Holland. Passengers? From here? Scarecrow. You rogue, what do you want with my daughter and me? You'll thank me before the night is out, Squire. What the devil? Here are your passengers, Dutchman. Come on! Hurry, hurry! Harry! Harry, you're free! How? What do you say now, Squire? Kate, it's your brother. Harry? Is it really you? Why, you've grown into a beauty. Oh. Take them to Holland, where they can board a boat for America. America? Take them off, my dear. You're in enemy waters, you smuggling rogue. Time to go, Mr. Banks. My men will escort you home, sir. Your servant, Mr. Banks. Good luck. So short a time. Goodbye, Harry. Take care. Write to us. Remember. I will. Goodbye. Hurry. Get aboard. A new life, gentlemen. The new world. And freedom very soon. Bon voyage. And you suspected nothing when you took the picket to the dungeons? I had no reason to, sir. Their papers were in order. Ah. That they, they, they didn't come to meet with a key, sir. Neither did you. But they had a key. How? Didn't that seem strange to you? No, sir. I'm not familiar with jail procedure. The men's actions seemed normal and natural. The deserter, the American, they had the answer to everything I want. Through them, I'd have smashed the smuggling here. You fool, why didn't you see them or hear them taken if you were on duty? Unless you were drunk? Or fighting? No, no, sir. Get out! Yes. Imposters walk into the castle and out again with prisoners right under your very nose? You saw them, sir. You were at the gate when they marched through. It's all in my report, sir. Yes, yes, it's all in your report. I sent a copy to the Admiral, sir, about the deserter's escape. 
to the Admiral. And another copy to the Director of Public Prosecutions, sir. The Director of Public Prosecutions will report to the King. Thank you, Mr. Brackenbury. That was very thorough of you. My duty, sir. Duty? Dismiss. General Pugh was at the gate. Well, Sir Thomas, this is a strange story, you tell me. But, uh, scoundrel or no, this scarecrow fellow freed Harry where I couldn't and arranged for you to say farewell. As parson and squire, we must hope for this capture. But, uh, tonight, let's drink to him, shall we? Mm, well... I suppose so. We may see Harry again sooner than you think. Both you and I. I'm not staying in the army, Kate. I can't after this. I'm resigning my commission. And uh, let's drink to the young people, too. It's a good lad. Right for Kate. You'll see. Yes. Yeah. Yes, let's drink to them. and the uh, scarecrow fellow. Whoever and wherever he may be, scoundrel. Scarecrow, scarecrow, scarecrow. The soldiers of the king feared his name. Country folk all loved him just the same.